Hi, Robert Moody with Marine Max of the Dallas Yacht Center here in Lake Louisville. Today I want to show you a 2015 Sea Ray 350 Sundancer. Twin Merc Cruiser engines, twin 300 horsepower, Bravo 3 drives on it. It does have the joystick control, auto heading on it, and sky hook. So uh, all the easy things to make this boat uh, a breeze to a dock, uh, any wind conditions. Back here in the back, you notice I got the extended swim platform, which is really cool. So when you're hanging out with the family and you're swimming, uh, so much more room to work on the back of the boat here. Kids can easily get in and out uh, from the back end of the boat. They do have the gourmet station. Now this is an option. Uh, almost all of them have it, some don't, but it is a nice option to have. So you got the Kenya grill in the back. You also got a freshwater sink back here so you can cook up some burgers and uh, clean up your utensils with a nice sink. I really like that. You're gonna enjoy using that on the water. Some cool storage compartments down below. I like those as well. I like where Sea Ray also put their transom speakers down low out of the way so you get music back here when you're swimming, but you're not banging your heads on some big old um, tower speakers there in the back. Moving into the uh, cockpit of the boat. Like all Sea Rays, a lot of good seating. So wraparound seating here on the side. Um, there is a table that goes here. It's stored down below underneath the engine hatch. Uh, but you've got a nice cockpit table where everybody can enjoy their lunch that you cooked for them. It does have this entertainment refreshment bar. So you can put some bottles in there, another storage in here. Trash can goes down here. So you always got a convenient trash chute uh, right here in the cockpit. For your food and drinks, do you have a cockpit refrigerator? So uh, nice to have that on the boat. They ordered this one with the cockpit TV, so you can watch your game out here on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. I really like also how Sea Ray let this dual helm seat swivel. So once you are anchored out, you can have more people sitting back here together talking and having a conversation. Uh, when it's time to go and drive the boat, just rotate it around. You hear it lock into place. Now you got two flip up bolster seats uh, ready to take, take the helm and take control of the boat. Um, again, twin 300 horsepower Merc Cruisers, only 79 hours on this 2015. So that's only, you know, about one or two summers really worth of use on the boat uh, on the 2015. Uh, so super low hours on it. Again, joystick control, we're all familiar with that. Uh, Fly-by-wire throttles, so it's really easy to shift, you know, for anybody in your family to operate the boat. And it also has a skyhook feature on it, so you can uh, hit the skyhook button, hold the boat in place while you get your lines or fenders ready. Auto heading, if you're making a long run across a lake, just tap that button, it's gonna keep you on the same heading until uh, you adjust it or turn it off. So that's pretty cool. It does have the Ray Marine, um, got the GPS on there. Right now I got split screen. You can do single screen if you want a bigger view. Right now I got split screen between the GPS navigation uh, and also it does have a, a sonar on it, so it's a fish finder. It tells you how deep a water you're in and what it looks like down below. To make it even easier to drive this boat, if the joystick didn't make it easy enough, also have this one with the active uh, trim on it. So what that does, that'll trim the lower unit for you automatically if you want to, uh, to keep the boat at the perfect angle. So they're really making it easy for anybody just to hop on this boat. Maybe you're coming from a ski boat or a pontoon boat and you want something with the air conditioner, something you can stay overnight, but you're intimidated about a big boat like this and twin engines and you know, uh, maybe you not feel comfortable about driving the boat. This makes it easy, the joystick makes it easy, so don't be intimidated by the size. If you want an air conditioner and cool off this summer, come, uh, come check out this boat. Up on the bow, we'll kind of point it out real quick. To get to the bow, the safest way is through the center line. They got nice stairs going up to the bow, um, handrail going up there as well. And then I got a huge sun lounge on the front and the back cushions can lift up for a headrest. And you see a couple of speakers up on the bow, so you got some music and cup holders up there. You got a spotlight if you want to go out at night and a windlass to drop the anchor down for you. So everything you need on the bow of the boat to have fun during the day. Let's uh, see where you're gonna hang out when it gets too hot or it's time to maybe spend the night. Coming down below, it's the best layout, traditional layout you see in a lot of boats where it's gonna have the uh, main bed forward on here. We do have a lot of lights, overhead lights, to let in natural light so you don't feel like you're down in a cave and big windows on the side uh, let in light too. So this is the main bed in the boat. I really like this um, salon area. This can convert into another bed too. But during the day, it's easy for people to hop in here. You've got a great lounge seat and they mounted the TV right there on the other side. So during the day, a great spot to sit here if you want to get out of the heat, come down here in the air conditioner. 
Um, I like it too. They did put the bench seat across from this seat. So if you got, you know, four or five, six people down here, they're facing each other, having a conversation, um, and not having to sit on somebody's bed to get this many people down here. Great storage compartments all around side the boat. You got a lot of cabinets everywhere you look, uh, there's storage on it. The control panel is really easy to get to on this boat. I like where they put it. So you can start up your generator, take care of all your 12 volt and 110 volt stuff are right there. Your stair head unit, your Blu-ray DVD player. It's easy to get to. Close it up, it's nice and pretty. So here in the galley, they got everything you need. I got a bigger refrigerator down below. Remember we got a smaller refrigerator in the cockpit. Then we got a bigger refrigerator down here in the galley. Two electric burners, you got a nice sink there, microwave, storage again, and a lot of storage uh, down below. And I like they actually put drawers in here so you can keep stuff organized in the boat instead of just one cabinet where everything gets tossed in there. You're going to appreciate keeping that organized. So a nice, uh, what we call a wet head, but it's a good size, a big window, get natural light in there, good ventilation. In the back in the back, you can order this boat. It's an option to get the L-shaped seating. So there's another TV back here. So L-shaped seating, if you got more people back here want to play games or the kids or watch a movie or something, they can. Uh, this will slide out and make into another bed. There's a curtain to give you privacy right here. So um, great little hideout for the kids or another couple to come stay on the boat. Again, another closet back here in the back. More storage compartments and a place to sit down and get dressed or put your shoes on uh, here in the back. It also has a central vacuum in the boat. Uh, the boat's nicely loaded, well equipped, and super low hours on it. Um, if you'd like to see this boat or have more questions about it, please give me a call. Robert Moody with Marine Max of the Dallas Yacht Center. Thank you.